we used to chase suspects on a regular basis. Since then, uh, things have changed a lot. With the helicopter, we don't have to chase suspects on the ground. We can track them from the air, largely unknown to the suspect. The suspects often think they've gotten away, they stop, they walk away, and that's when ground units can move in, secure the vehicle, and arrest the suspects before they pose any more risk to the public. My name is Curtis Brassington. I'm a corporal and tactical flight officer with RCMP Air Services. Air Services has a wide variety of roles, everything from prisoner transport to member transport. But what we do with the Air One program in the Lower Mainland is largely supporting general duty patrol members and operational ground units. Tactical flight officers, they are the link between the aircraft and the members on the ground. What we see is different from what the members see, and we do our best to help them. There's one corporal, myself, and I supervise three constable tactical flight officers. The real keys are communication skills, being able to communicate with both the pilot and the members on the ground, as well as problem solving. Every call is a new problem to solve. We're usually dealing with them on the fly. It's not a planned operation. So members who do it well are those who have the ability to solve those problems on the fly, communicate effectively to get the job done. There are five ways to see out of the helicopter. First is the simplest, which is the naked eye. Second, and the most intuitive, is gyro-stabilized binoculars. For nighttime operations, we always fly with night vision goggles. These attach to our helmet. Next, we have our color camera and infrared camera. It's all in the same gimbal, and that gimbal is controlled by our camera controller. With the arrival of Air 5, our newest helicopter, we have expanded hoist capability. We have been training with world-renowned experts in hoist operations, both inserting and extracting ERT medics from both open areas on land and as well as water. Because BC has so many mountains, lakes, and areas, a lot of which are inaccessible by vehicle, being able to insert these ERT medics to support or help victims and then extract them to safety will be an important part of what we do in the future. Policing in Surrey offers probably the widest range of operational police experiences that you can get in the RCMP world in Canada. From a police aviation perspective, we're always busy. It's a large community. There's a large demand on police resources. So there's always something happening. We never have a quiet shift. I've been living in Surrey uh, throughout my entire 20-year police career, and I cannot imagine leaving before I retire. Surrey's been great for my family. We love it here, and it's a really fun place to work.